Hey, what's going on out there? I'd like to welcome every one of you to Water Your Soil. So the bad news keeps piling up for credit card users. As you can see, just about every other week, I have been doing the video and it's more new bad news in relation to credit cards and credit card debt. So there was a new article out and a couple of publications did it. I'm going to read the one that's by Fortune Magazine, but a lot of credit card users are in trouble when it comes to credit card debt. So I'm going to read this article from Fortune and it's in regards to millennials. I'm a millennial, so it has me concerned. I don't have credit card debt, but I have peers who may be affected by this. Some of you may be affected by it as well. So that's why I'm going to talk about it here on this channel. If you know any thing about water your soil I love to talk about the pros and the cons that come along with credit cards because a lot of times you know on YouTube we just want to focus on the pros but there are cons that come along with it credit card usage is up and credit card debt is up it's almost like they work simultaneously so we got to be more conscious going forward because the economy is not doing as good as a lot of people believe and creating credit card debt is just going to make things harder for a lot of people going forward. But anyways, let's get into the article. So it says millennials in their 30s have racked up a historic $3.8 trillion in debt. $3.8 trillion. The debt accumulated by millennials could widen the wealth gap with other age groups and hurt their ability to save and invest their future. This is an article by Fortune, and this was posted on February 27, 2023. So it was posted the other day. It says, during the COVID-19 pandemic, household debt largely fell or remained flat after many employers temporarily shut down and government policies helped people delay having to pay off debt, allowing them to save more money. But since then, household debt sharply increased, particularly with one demographic group millennials or people born between 1981 and 1996 the biggest part of that demographic group people in their 30s struggled with a record high debt of over 3.8 trillion dollars at the end of 2022 up 27 percent from 2019 according to data from the federal reserve bank of new york and reported by the wall street journal that was the largest accumulation of debt by that age group over any three years since the financial crisis in 2008. Credit card delinquency rates or credit card payments that are more than 90 days past due are also the highest among 30-somethings compared to any other age group. The New York Fed and the Liberty Street Economics found earlier this month. Among millennials, credit card balances averaged $6,750 in January, up about 26%. Robust consumer spending, the hottest inflation reading in 40 years, sharply higher credit card rates have combined to push credit card balances to a new record high. Ted Roseman, a senior analyst at Bankrate, told Fortune this month. When the pandemic complicated the financial situation for Americans, stimulus checks and suspicion of loan repayments were meant to alleviate some of the financial pain. But by 2022, Morgan Stanley reported that consumers had spent 30% to 50% of their $2.7 trillion surplus in savings. Growing debt is bad news for everyone. For millennials, this could mean a widening wealth gap with older generations and less opportunities to save money and invest for the future. Many millennials started their careers during or around the Great Recession in late 2007, depressing their ability to earn from early on. The economic and housing boom since the 1980s helped many baby boomers earn a good living, but the same can't be said of millennials. Since the 1960s and 1970s, the wealth gap has doubled between those over 60 and under 40, a study found last year. Rapid rising debt coupled with generational wealth gap means millennials are likely to have a harder time establishing themselves and making investments like older generations. The federal government is trying to help the situation through President Joe Biden's student loan forgiveness program. The topic of a Supreme Court case this week. 
If allowed, loan forgiveness could significantly ease the financial position for those burdened by debt repayment obligations, which have been paused about three years since the onset of COVID-19. And millennials make up a significant share of those holding federal student debt. But several other factors may cause the current trends in debt and wealth to continue. For one, the Federal Reserve's effort to bring inflation under control have also pushed up interest rates on debt from housing to auto to credit cards. As with everyone, 30-somethings who are home shopping are having to face sky-high real estate prices and higher borrowing costs. The impact of debt has serious implications for the future as well for millennials. Debt levels can impact decisions like whether they have children resulting in broad economic ramifications. Now, you know, it's kind of interesting because there are a lot of articles like this and they have been coming out rapidly throughout the past year or so. And I've been posting, you know, I like to educate people and I like to educate myself on what's going on. A lot of people are not aware of what's going on with the economy right now. The other day, Monday evening, I rolled past the airport and it was packed. Like the line for picking people up, the arrival line reminded me of holiday time, like around Thanksgiving and around Christmas. It was ridiculous. And what that lets me know that people are traveling, they are traveling heavily. And that's kind of interesting because credit card debt is at an all time high. But I guarantee you, a lot of those people traveling are traveling using credit cards. And I don't think some people understand what's really going on. The economy is on a downwards trend. Whether you want to believe it or not, things are trending down right now. So getting in credit card debt, using credit cards, trying to keep up with the Joneses, or trying to impress people on social media by taking trips and saying, hey, look at me and my friends. Listen, when you get in credit card debt, and the economy is bad, and you gotta dig yourself out of that credit card debt, the people who you were trying to impress, they're probably not gonna be nowhere around. And guess what? Majority of the people that you try to impress and put yourself in credit card debt for, they don't really care anyways. Now, there are some circumstances where people run into financial hardships and they use their credit cards for that reason. Now, I'm not a fan of credit card debt, but I will say that's understandable because, you know, some people, they get in financial hardships. Maybe they lost their job. You never know what happens. But for the people who are out there just using their credit cards for leisure and just to shop and buy clothes and to travel to impress people and just to have fun. You want to be careful with creating credit card debt because things are about to get ugly. These interest rates are high. I know some of you are going to want to have some form of wealth or you're not going to want to work till you're 70. So we all got to keep these things in mind. Like I said, trying to keep your credit intact and trying to stay out of credit card debt, that's a lifelong thing. It's just not a temporary thing. It's just not something that you worry about in your 20s or your 30s or your 40s. This is a lifelong thing. And we got to learn how to manage these credit cards correctly. Credit cards are fun. I love them. I love the benefits that come along with them. But I also hate credit card debt. I'm not a fan of credit card debt at all. So we have to be careful. We can reap the rewards of these credit cards and these points and we could go travel using our points and book hotels using our points and really enjoy these cards and get the most out of them because they do have some excellent offers with these credit cards. But you want to be smart. And you want to stay out of credit card debt. You want to do whatever you can to watch your utilization, watch how much you're spending, pay off what you spend, and just try your best to stay out of credit card debt. As I stated, us millennials, we don't own much wealth like the baby boomers. Houses were cheap for them, you know? So we can't move like a lot of them move. We have to be smarter, especially when it comes to things like credit cards and avoiding credit card debt. We all can have credit cards and enjoy credit cards, but we need to watch credit card debt and try our best to stay out of it. But anyways, if you're new over here, you feel in the vibe, this is Water Your Soil. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Turn on all notifications. That way you don't miss a future video. I know some of you are subscribing. I appreciate it. But make sure you hit that all notification and hit that bell. That way 
you don't miss future videos because I do post and I'm posting and some of the people who are subscribed aren't seeing my posts because they're not clicking on all notifications. So do me that big favor. Click on all notifications. Also, this goes for every single one of you. Be sure to hit the like button. That's your way of supporting this channel. Get this video circulating with the algorithm. Hit the like button. Feel free to comment. If you have feedback or you have a story relating to credit card debt, be sure to share it below in the comment section. This is that type of community over here. I really appreciate every single one of you watching this channel. I felt the need to share that article because it is important. This is Water Your Soil and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, be sure to check out the description box below. That way you can have all the credit resources from Water Your Soil. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, all right?